Hello friends, welcome you in this video tutorial and you are watching KK Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the what's the difference between abstract class and interface in Java. Uh, difference between abstract class and interface in Java is one of the most popular Java interview question. And many times it is a kind of a breaking the ice question when the interviewer just starts. But that way abstract class versus interface becomes a very important question as it is often said first impression is the last impression, right? So let's try to see the differences between abstract class and interfaces in Java in this video, right? So guys, before starting this video, I would like to request you, I had uh, posted a lot of series of videos on interfaces as well as abstract class in Java. So please go through those videos so that you can understand this uh, video uh, in better way, right? So I had already posted many videos on KK Java tutorials related to abstract classes and interfaces. So please go through those all videos. And uh, this video is fully theoretical. So if you understand those videos, then only you can understand every points in this video. Now, when we talk about the difference between abstract class and interfaces in Java, so let's just start with here uh, you, you can see there is, there is a three columns right so uh, first columns i have uh, given the different categories right with respect to methods access modifier what's the difference between abstract classes and interfaces so this is the point first column represents second abstract class and third is the interfaces so when we talk about the difference with respect to methods right so abstract class can have both abstract as well as non abstract methods so non abstract method means method which come which you have defined with curly bracket open and close and you write the behavior between those uh, basically braces right so as we know that abstract class can have a both kind of method abstract as well as non abstract methods right but interface can have abstract method only but one thing you should note from java 8 interfaces can have default methods and static methods as well right when we compare about the access modifiers right so in java you have a four access modifier right public protected or default and private so uh, when you have an abstract class methods can have a public protected private default modifiers apart from the abstract methods right but in interface in methods are by default public abstract only right when we talk about the variables or constants, uh, abstract class fields can be non-static or non-final. But in interface, all the fields are by default public static final. So interface can, contains only constants. Now when we talk about the with respect to implementation, abstract class may have some methods with implementation and some methods as abstract, right? In interface, all the methods are by default abstract where only method signature is provided but uh, again you should note that uh, from java 8 interfaces can have default methods and static methods as well now when we compare with respect to constructor abstract class have a constructor uh, it may be user supplied or default uh, in case no constructor is written by the users or no constructor is written by the developers right so as we know that uh, if a class does not have any constructor that means default constructor is there right so that also applies on the uh, abstract class as well now interface can't have a constructor right now when we talk about the multiple inheritance abstract class can extend at most one class and implement one or more interfaces in case of interface interface can only extend one or more interfaces right that is very well known now when we talk about the abstraction of feature uh, abstract class can provide both partial or full abstraction right uh, you, you can have a if you have a abstract class you can have a, all the methods abstracts or there is possibility there are some abstract method and few methods are uh, non abstract right but interface provides full abstraction as no implementation is provided for any of the methods right except java 8 feature if you exclude that right from java 8 onwards you can define a utility method as a static method as well as default methods right 
now when we talk about the whether extends or implements abstract class can uh, abstract class are extended by the subclasses subclasses need to provide implementation for all the abstract method of the extended abstract class or be declared as abstract itself right those things we had also seen in the previous video tutorial so let's say you have a one abstract class and that abstract class has five abstract method and you create a subclass by extending that abstract class then your subclass has to provide all the implementation of uh, all implementation of the uh, uh, sup, uh, abstract methods of the super class else you need to declare your abstract class uh, your subclass as abstract class now in interface is implemented by a class and uh, the implementing class needs to provide implementation for all the methods declared in the an interface if a class does not implement all the methods of interface then that class must be declared as abstract right now <laughs> last different we would like to understand easy to evolve means when we talk about the uh, abstract class abstract class was considered easy to evolve as abstract classes could add new methods and provide default implementation for those methods right still sub uh, subclass uh, will not be forced to override that method but in case of interface interface was not considered to evolve as in case of adding new methods to an interface all the implementing classes had to be changed to provide implementation for the new methods with java 8 even interface can have default methods so that issue has been addressed right so uh, when we talk about this point so let's say you have a one interface like i1 and that is going to uh, implement by uh, three classes like class a class b and class c right and that is already existing now you go and modify your interface i you add one new methods right so and that new method whatever method you are adding that is going to use by the class a but not class b and c but still uh, you are forcing uh, class b and c to implement that method so that's that's what uh, when we talk about the java before java 8 interface was not easy to evolve but when you have an abstract class anytime you can go and add new method in the abstract class with the concrete implementation and and uh, if subclass wants to override that behavior that's they, they are they are basically free to override that behavior so that's what uh, when we talk about the jdq 1.8 uh, abstract class was easy to evolve but interface was not easy to, to evolve but from java 8 onwards of course you can add new methods uh, uh, in the interface itself so that problem has been addressed now <clears throat> one of the more important question which should we use right uh, abstract classes or interfaces right so this is the answer basically one of the answer uh, best suited for this uh, question so as we know abstract classes have to be extended whereas interface needs to be implemented by a class right that itself suggests uh, when to use what right in case we need extend some functionality further we need to go with abstract class right when we need to start from generalized structure and move towards more specialized structure by extending the generalized class and providing a specialized impl uh, implementation abstract class is better choice right so basically let's say uh, you have a five classes right class a b c d e and in all classes you find there are the some common behavior or common methods then what you want you extract this common behaviors put into the separate class let's say class uh, f and all these classes basically extend that class f that common behavior will be basically uh, inherited uh, by uh, by the super class which is abstract class and behavior which which is going to change in the all the five classes you can declare as a abstract class in the super class super, uh, abstract super class so that all the subclasses uh, can write uh, uh, can uh, uh, can provide his own implementation his own way right so that's the basically abstract class now in case of interfaces it is expected that unrelated classes would implement that interface and each class is free to provide their own implement implementation right and that's how interface that's how using interfaces java fully utilizes one interface multiple method aspects of polymorphism right so i hope you understood 
uh, when we should use abstract classes and when we should use interfaces so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys if you really like this video then hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel i'll uh, i'll come up with a lot of videos uh, uh, in the next series of video videos so thank you so much and see you there in the next video tutorial